Welcome to Shield Stravaganza Part 3, where we're going to be talking about every single one of the shields that we carry for Arduino here at SparkFun Electronics. We're going to be briefly covering each one, so if you want to learn more information, just look below, click on the link, and go to the product page to learn more. Also, this is only Part 3, so go to the description below to view the other parts of the video. Let's get started. This is the ModKit Motor Proto Shield. This is a shield that works directly with the ModKit software. The ModKit software is basically like a little drag and drop programming interface that allows you to actually do programming without having to actually program code. This shield has a motor driver so you can drive a motor and it's also got a couple little um, audio jacks that you can plug into cables and they have little um, alligator clips so you can connect them to different sensors and it's a really easy way to teach programming. This is the SI4735 shield. Sounds complicated, but really all it is is an AM and FM receiver board. So you plug this in, you got a headphone jack, and you can use Arduino commands to control an AM or FM radio station. Just put in an antenna, and you can receive the radio stations and turn your Arduino into a radio. This all right here, this is all the pieces for the Pogo Bed Shield Kit. The Pogo Bed Shield Kit is an interesting product that actually came out of testing. When you put all this together, you get your own Pogo Bed. The Pogo Bed uses these little Pogo pins, and you put this on top of your Arduino, and then you can actually just press fit a shield on top of it because of the little springy pins. So it allows you to do prototyping and testing with a shield without having to solder anything onto the shield. So it takes place of normal headers by using these little spring pins and it clamps the shield down and you don't have to solder to anything. This is the shield for the Electric Imp. This allows you to use an Electric Imp with your Arduino. An electric Imp is this nice little um, card. It looks just like a um, SD card that you would have in your digital camera but it's actually a Wi-Fi radio with a microcontroller built in. You can program them, you can set up this mesh network and have them share data and do all sorts of different things, and this allows you to prototype and play with an electric imp on your Arduino. This is the Arduino Motor Shield. The Arduino Motor Shield is a very simple motor driver shield. It allows you to send forward and reverse commands and also change the speed of the motors. And it can control up to two motors and has these little headers so you can connect a separate power supply and also connect some screw terminals into your motors. This is the official Arduino Wi-Fi Shield. Wi-Fi Shield does exactly like the name implies. It allows you to access a wireless network from your Arduino. You can host web pages, post sensor data, all sorts of different things. It even has a nice little micro SD card socket for storage. This is the GPS Shield. The GPS Shield is a really easy way to integrate GPS receivers into your next Arduino project. We have a couple headers for the EM406. We've even got one for the UP501, some of our more popular GPS modules. And we even have a little prototyping area, and we've broken out all the pins to make them easy to access. In addition, we've even got a little switch where you can turn on and off the UART so that if you're programming it, you don't have to have that information be conflicted. This is the Arduino Ethernet Shield. The Arduino Ethernet Shield lets your Arduino talk to the outside world. It's got an Ethernet jack and even a micro SD card socket for storage. This is the MIDI Shield. With this board, you can actually communicate with MIDI devices. The MIDI Shield comes with this PCB, a couple of potentiometers, a couple of push buttons, and a MIDI in and a MIDI out jack. This is the Arduino Proto Shield. Proto Shield is one of our most popular and most basic basic of the prototyping boards that we have. It has um, these headers, it has a couple buttons, a couple of LEDs, and a couple of resistors with it. You basically simply put it together, slap it on top of your Arduino, and you have a really easy way to prototype. All the um, pins are broken out with a separate header, and you've got this nice prototyping area in the middle. This is the cellular shield. It allows your Arduino to talk to cell networks. It's got a SIM card socket, and of course it's got this little breakout that you can connect to an antenna. So now your Arduino can talk to the outside world. This is the CAN bus shield. The CAN bus shield allows your Arduino to talk to any system which uses the CAN bus protocol. It has a DB9 connector which you can connect into like an OBD2 connector. It's got an EM406 for connecting a GPS, micro SD card socket, and even a nice little four-way connector. So if you're looking to talk to CAN bus, check out the CAN bus shield. This is the MP3 player shield. The MP3 player shield combines an MP3 player with a micro SD card shield. So you can store MP3s on a micro SD card and then play them into the headphone jack or the speaker output. So you can use this for things like a haunted house, for you know, sound effects, or just a basic MP3 player. 